Hello from the Conrad Maldives Rangali Island. This is a grand water villa. This is the cluster of them that are located off the north side of the main island. This one is room number 411. It's recently been refurbished, redone, and we'll talk you through all of the changes and improvements and how these differ. So first and foremost, um, this one is configured as a one bedroom and there are some that are a two bedroom and we'll talk through that in just a minute here. But these rooms are full of windows and water views. If you want a water villa experience that is unforgettable, this is definitely the place for you. All right, so this is the day bed at the entrance to your room. You'll note that the ceilings here are really tall and one new improvement from the previous time we stayed here is that they have ceiling fans and updated furniture. We have a box of chocolates. I apologize, the box of chocolates is currently empty. And there's fruit and a pond arrival. And then uh, this is a little box with some cutlery and some plates to go along with your mini bar set up over there. So all right, after you leave your small foyer, you enter into the living room. Oh, before I forget, over at the wall, you have a remote control for the fan, as well as the light. The light on this fan is actually remarkably bright uh, at night. So we'll just turn it on. And the fan is also remarkably powerful, which can be good. Uh, by the way, you're facing toward the east here. So this is, you get a, a good view from your deck of the sunset and from your front room here a good view of the sunrise a quick warning or word of caution about this room and the cluster of rooms right out here we're on a sandbar and there is constant sloshing of the waves If you don't want that, you don't want this room. If you're okay with that and want a beachy sound, um, great. If you don't want that, you need to ask for a villa that's farther out or a villa that is closer to the main island, that direction, which is where the spa is located. So anything I would say in the 408, 409, 410, 411, maybe even 412, I'm guessing, uh, have this sloshing action that you might want to consider when you're considering this room. Okay, back to the actual room. Um, here in the foyer, you leave and you have your small desk area and I'm big into the plugs. So one big improvement here is that they have these plugs that are multinational and they also have the addition of USB. Major kudos to the Conrad for these plugs. No adapter is necessary for many things, which is fantastic. Um, and you'll find a couple of these, I'll show them to you. Uh, you'll find a couple of these throughout the room. We're here during the pandemic and so they've provided a personal hygiene kit. Um, the um, hotel at this point does not require the guests to wear masks. The staff is required to wear masks, but as of right now, you can go mask free here if you wish. Okay, here is your living room. In the two bedroom configuration, you'll find there's a bed here as well as a couch. But in this one, there's a ton of seating space. Again, really tall ceilings and you have the ceiling fan. The switches for everything are a bit of a puzzle, um, but they're over here, located next to the couch. Again, lots of water views, and you can look straight down here and see the water, hear the water, watch the sloshing. You can actually open up these doors with the handles here, as well as there's a, a release down there, and really hear 
the ocean or not, depending on which villa you choose. On this side of the living room, you've got your TV over there on the right, which has the automated or interactive, I should say, features where you can look at your bill and whatnot and the hotel can send you messages. Uh, we have kept the TV off most of the time. It's a smart TV, so you can stream YouTube on there. And I suppose you could also do some screen mirroring. We haven't, um, but uh, there's also a, a Bluetooth, I, I take that back, I'm sorry, a, uh, a sound system over there that I, I believe is supposed to be Bluetooth. We couldn't get it to work, um, but we just, that's fine. Uh, this is your mini bar. The mini bar is different from in our previous days, in which case they have much larger bottles of alcohol and some snacks. There is a small coffee maker here and a tea kettle, ice bucket. This is the water that they bring to your room and replenish daily or twice daily because they do do regular service and then a turn down service. So here are your coffee and tea elements. I'm not a coffee drinker, I apologize. So I don't know what all these are. It's an espresso. So I imagine the espresso fans will know exactly what all of these are and uh, you'll be able to take advantage of them when you're here. The tea selection is fun. And then you have that kettle up there. And so from here, you have tea cups coffee cups and an empty drawer. There is lots of storage. We'll get to that in just a minute. Over here, there's a very small wine chiller with a couple bottles. I did not look at the prices uh, of anything, actually. Here, there's a refrigerator with more mini bar items. Again, sorry, I didn't look at the prices. Those bottles of Evian are not theirs. Those are ours. But you have some extra space in there if you want to bring something and stick it in there. You certainly can. Okay, so here's the bathroom. One of the, I think, if not the best bathroom that they have here at the Conrad Maldives Rangali Island in the Overwater Villas. We haven't seen all of them, but uh, of the ones that we've stayed in, this is a fantastic, I think, setup. It's been updated somewhat not drastically from our previous stay, but uh, they do have a fan and tons of space. There is one uh, Achilles heel in a way here. There's no storage on the vanity. So the solution, here are the sinks by the way. Um, the solution that we found is that we grab a basket which is located in the closet and we bring it over here and put the bathroom articles there rather than having them on full display in the bathroom. Opposite the vanity, you have the toilet room over there and two gigantic closets. So you can store your bathroom stuff over there if you don't want to transport it back and forth and back and forth. You can use the basket routine. And so here's uh, the closet number one. You can see how tall it is. Tons and tons and tons of space. Uh, you'll see the shelving on the left. We bring snacks with us. Some people do, some people don't. We do. And on the right over here, you'll see that there's a safe as well as more storage and your robes. There are four robes in this room, two different kinds. So you have the terry cloth here, and then you have the kimono style over where we're headed, which is the other side of the bathroom. So the shower and bathtub in this room are located right on the water. So you open this door and you can shower or take a bath or both and you're right on the water. The windows do open if you wish. They're frosted for privacy right now, but if you wanna open the, them up, you can. There is a regular style shower head or handheld shower, as well as a rain shower. The bathtub takes a long time to fill up. So if you want to take a bath, do give yourself, I would say a good 20 minutes to get it going. Okay, there's the 
deck out there will end up out there in a little bit and hope that you can hear me with <laughs> the noise. And uh, there is a gentle breeze right now, not too much of a wind, which is, which is exactly what I think most people are hoping for here is just that gentle sea breeze. I think you get it mostly in this room. I mean, there are your towels. There is a hair dryer as well as an adapter. If you want to use your own hair dryer, I guess you can use that adapter to plug it in. You need the, the British style adapter to whatever you're using, or if you're using a British style plug, you don't need an adapter at all. Don't forget to throw the switch. Okay, so the bedroom is opposite the bathroom, the vanity over there. In between, you can see the sea, the Indian Ocean here. Um, and so right here, this is a space that's inside, interior. And then there's actually an opening in between this part of the villa and the other part of the villa. Um, but yeah, you can, you're brushing your teeth or whatever, you can look straight down and see what's happening down there. Because of the wave action, this one has uh, a lot of water and salt that accumulates. Um, some of the other water villas that we've been in uh, do not because it's just so calm. The water never has a chance to leap up there. So it's easier to look down. Anyway, okay, so uh, the room is separated. The bedroom is separated from the other part of the villa. So here we are, we're going through this door into a little hallway, which way back when, when this was a spa villa, spa retreat villa, I think, one of our old videos can lay it out for you. This was actually the spa treatment room. So you could have a separate space to receive a spa treatment. And uh, as we were told, very few people used the room in that manner. And so they decided to update it. This room has uh, an air conditioner, but no fan. So no fan for the bedroom, which I think I do somewhat miss or would desire uh, if I were to make this more perfect, but it's a generous bedroom. You can see fantastic views. And in this case, uh, lots of wave action to hear. Um, on our stay, every single night, we got wave action uh, most of the night. And uh, it was nice. It was like having one of those sound machines or white noise machines, but the real thing. So in the bedroom, you have um, one of these alarm clocks that you can plug an iOS device into and charge. They also have the, the plugs that are multinational, and, um, but they do not have the USB. So if you wanna charge your device here, you're gonna need to bring the adapter. So a bunch of switches there for the various lights. You have lights that are bedside, you have lights that are in the ceiling, and you have more lights that are in the ceiling up there. Um, the blinds, by the way, are a, a combination of motorized and um, manual. So this is a controller, I believe, for these blinds, which are up there. And the blinds over here, which look directly out, I believe those to be manual based on what we experienced. If you want to control the air conditioner, you have a remote control for it and it works pretty well. I mean, considering how hot it gets here, these things are champs. Uh, they do a really good job. Uh, it's astounding to think that you could ever be cold here, but it's true. Um, occasionally we've felt a little chilly. More storage here in the bedroom, a closet that I don't, I don't think we're using it at all, actually. Yeah. Um, so you have some, uh, you could hang some stuff there for sure. We have more shelving and door number three has uh, more hanging stuff, more hangers and a shelf up top. Tons and tons and tons and tons of storage. What we've found over the years is we take less and less here. So every trip that we, we visit, um, it, it seems like we're packing less and less. We learn to live with less and uh, that's a good thing. I think ultimately less to travel with, less to worry about, less to unpack, unpack, less to deal with, um, you know, teach their own, but for us, it works. All right, so one last look. Here's the, the bathroom.
of number 411. And here is your living room in 411. Oh, one thing about that artwork, don't freak out. Occasionally, because there's wave action, it, uh, it'll, the building, the, the villa will shudder a little bit and that thing will clink. <laughs> and it sounds like, uh, it kind of sounds like a cell phone, uh, like a text message coming in. Uh, don't worry, it's just, it's just the little pieces of ceramic or, or whatever these are, just clinking with one another. So yeah, in the middle of the night, that's a little bit unnerving. Okay, so we're gonna go outside. If you can hear me, great. If you can't, I apologize. But uh, your balcony here is reconfigured from, uh, if you previously stayed in these, it used to be a multi-level balcony and it had uh, a jacuzzi. Now it just has a plunge pool and it's a single level. So you can make your own judgment as to whether you think that's better uh, or not. But uh, there's a nice dining table out here. Um, we, we brought snacks and food and so yeah, we ate dinner out there and uh, it was great because the sunset here is just phenomenal. And you're looking at the small island and the, the way the colors paint the horizon is mesmerizing and unforgettable. Okay, so we'll go out now. So again, some of these are gonna be really quiet. This one is not because of the wave action. So in, if you've watched any of our other videos, you know that when we go outside, sometimes you hear nothing, maybe a tiny ripple, but here there's the constant pretty constant, I should say, uh, sloshing of the Indian Ocean. So there's your stairwell. You can step right down and you can see there that where the waves are sloshing, your steps are right there on the, stand, on the sandbar. The sandbar extends to the left. And so you can actually walk, and we have. We walked out the sandbar here. You're a little close to your neighbors, but I think this one was unoccupied. So um, yeah, we just walked out the sandbar and, and checked it out and then walked back. Here's the plunge pool. The plunge pool during a cloudy day is gonna feel, uh, I'll be diplomatic, refreshing. It gets chilly, but on a sunny day, it gets, it gets nice and warm and it's, it's refreshing, but not too refreshing, not too cold. Um, but it's, a, it's well done. There is a bench along the back, a couple steps to get in, but you can, you can if you have a, a bunch of people, you could, Put a bunch of people on the uh, on the bench there. I imagine most people are just small families or, or couples. But um, it's a great view. Just sit there and hang out. You can look at the small island or look to the left, and you can see the main island. The lounge chairs here are shaded in the morning, and then full sun through the afternoon. The umbrella does a pretty good job blocking the sun, but not UV in our experience. I got a sunburn, even though I was under the umbrella. So fair warning about that. Uh, one thing about the steps, they can get very slippery. So be careful when you go down them, um, if you're gonna go snorkel. There is a light you can turn on. It's right there. The switch is on the inside. That light, generally speaking, will attract fish in the evening or other sea life. Um, this room hasn't been as successful with that because of the wave action. I think you'd have a better chance of seeing sea life if you were in the rooms either to our north or to our south where there's uh, less sloshing. Here's your privacy fence, which you have pretty good privacy. I would not say total privacy. If you're looking for total privacy, I think you're gonna need to look elsewhere. But um, I think you're in pretty good shape. So here we are, we'll wrap it up. Here's the dinner table. They have a, a ashtray here, but I, I thought they were non-smoking, but I, I'm not sure you'd wanna check that. We're definitely not smokers. They're redoing at this point, that island. And so the water villas, if you, if you look in, if you zoom in, well, I'll try, let's see here. Uh, no, not letting me. Um, but uh, the water villas over there are being redone. And so you'll have more options here soon. All right, so we'll go back inside, number 411, and say goodbye. So if you like what we do, please do like and subscribe. If you have questions, go ahead and ask them and we'll do our best to answer them. 
If you do have thoughts about the room that you want to share, if maybe you've stayed here, uh, weigh in. I'm interested to hear how other people have maximized their time here in these rooms and uh, made it an even more enjoyable experience because we've had a great time like we do always in the Maldives. So we hope you have a fantastic time too. Thanks for watching. And if you're headed here, do enjoy your stay in the Maldives. Bye.